This is not a time to be complacent. If you are under a mandatory evacuation, I encourage you to seek lodging outside the area. Here in Wilmington at the Star News offices, we are seeing the massive amounts of rain and wind that are accompanying Hurricane Florence as she makes landfall. The storm's hitting, the town's pulling together, and you're finding a place to eat. And this is one of the last spots that's open. The Waffle House is willing to stay open. So I quit giving my money to the dope man and decided to buy everybody breakfast this morning. So. As of yesterday, they were calling for upwards of two feet of water in some areas. To I'm 42 years old and I've never seen it get this bad before. And I've lived here all my life. The economic total is going to be devastating because it's not just the livestock these farmers have lost, it's the crops as well. We're using hotspots from our phone, we're using our generator, we're using very limited light, but we are getting the news out, we're getting pictures out, we're getting the latest updates that we're getting from all the emergency operation centers in our area. So stick. Uh, we are seeing disaster all across our state, but I know it's been particularly tough down here because you've been cut off. But to hear the stories of bravery, to hear the stories of neighbor helping neighbor, it shows what North Carolina is all about.